ready. So now your first code along. I've actually opened this up as a student, so this is the way you will see it, and the video you're watching is here. And here's the summary of what you need to do. Uh, again, by now, hopefully you've gotten the Udemy course. Hopefully you've gotten it for cheap and you've coded along inside of whichever environment you have for uh, really 10 to 14 because nine is just an overview. So we'll finish this section next time. But what I want you to see is in this after you, I've given you the video is a link. And this link, I recommend having it up on, if you have two screens, having it up on another screen. I have it here. And so here are the instructions. Now these are setting in my public repo that everyone can see. So if for some reason I've added uh, a next week but haven't done the video, you can still check out what work you, how to show your work for that series of videos. So in this case, uh, you can see I actually detail out which it, every video I tell you what to create. Now, this is also what Andrew does, so that's a bit of uh, the same. But in this case, because I'm doing the index file to see the console.log output, and as a reminder, the reason I do that is the sooner we get you to the browser, in my experience, the better. Um, I do give you some heads up because when you're uh, writing code just for running in Node, you won't get some of the errors, those of us that are doing it in the browser, which again, I recommend everyone do. And I want you to know why. Uh, so you will actually see this uh, in the first video. So, you know, code along, read uh, these things, that way you know if you run into something. Oh, and then there's also, uh, you can comment out, you can just comment comment out the first code uh, and then code along and with Andrew as well. And he talks about semicolons are optional. But let me just show you, just since we're here, because um, I finished the last one, just how to comment very quickly. So like, here's the file I just wrote for the last one. And if I wanted to comment out just these, I could hit control um, of forward slash. Uh, if I did it again, it would take it off. And it's just a very simple way. You can also, I think in here, can you take off comments? I know you can somewhere. I just don't do it in here, so I don't remember. But that's how I do it, is to take comments on and off. And I do think it's a good idea to comment out as he gives you uh, comments as well. So in this, this series, this first series, this first video you're doing, right, you, in this case, have your first coding challenge. Now these coding challenge, challenges over time get a little more challenging, but at this point we've only been coding along. And now when you get to here, you're actually going to do a commit once you have your code for, your code for this challenge, right? Because I want to see the code that you wrote. I don't want to see the code that he wrote. Now, it may look very uh, similar in the beginning, but I just want you to know this is where your first commit happens. And I've shown you how to do commits, so you can do that. But what I want you to do is commit and then watch the solution and update any code you feel needs it. Okay, so you do want to have working code as well, because not only is this code, this is also your notes. Okay. And then uh, I do talk about, I give another heads up, right? So this first video has a bit of content just because of the way that we're running it, right? So I just want you to know that. And then uh, after on each video where you're creating a new file, so like in, in numbers, in the next one, and then in variables, and then uh, temperature converter, right? One thing I say is update your index file. And here's, and I've shown you this, but I'll show you again, because I'm on the last one, I'm on Boolean. So in my index file, I've changed this to Boolean. And then on the live server, when I come in here, right, I'm just gonna hit refresh just real quick so I can see it. I can see the output from that Boolean JS file. Okay, so I want you to, to know that's why I'm telling you every time. Again, if you're running it, I do recommend doing it. I'm not going to, by the way, on next week's colong, you will have to do it because I'm also going to show you how to output it to the page. So, you know, might as well get used to it this week because you're going to have it next week. The sooner you get used to it, the better. Okay, so I just wanted to give you that overview. Again, read the heads up. 
And I talk about commenting out and leaving your O code there. That way you only, the only code that you want running, you have code running. Uh, and then you go all the way to the last one, which I just showed you, which was the Boolean. Okay. So this is where my code is at. I've done those commits along the way. So what I want to show you now is actually how to, once you've, remember the get, the get workflow, right? Get add. Now you're doing this each time, right? You should now say, what's the next one? Get commit dash M with the message, right? So like my whatever. And by the way, you'll notice too, and I'll show you this on the history in a minute, is there was only one that you actually did only code along. The other two were challenges and your code along uh, together. Okay. So, and then what's important, the last thing, and by the way, you can do, and this is important to tell you, I'm glad I thought of this, is that you can do the git add, right? The git commit. And then not until the end do you have to do the git push because once you're all done with this section and you're ready to submit it, then you can actually do your git push. And that will push the code. I don't think I had anything to do. Oh, maybe I did. Okay. So now that you've pushed it, right, you, you all your code has been updated uh, from here to uh, GitHub. Now you can open up a new tab, go to github.com and I do forward slash CIT 93. And in this case, it's the, for me, it's the, my private repo. It should also be for you. And then I'm going to come to JS bootcamp. And by the way, if I come down in here, I should see all the files that I've created. And you can do the following uh, from your basics directory. You could also do it from your JS bootcamp. It's really not that different. But if you come over here and you see history, okay, you click on history. History will show you all those commits. And this is the part when I review your work, I look at your commits because it shows me the code that you're writing. And I can see from this, by the way, these are, don't, you know, these were the four required commits for this code along and you notice my code and I when I see this I know those are coding challenges so I pay particular attention to those because the idea was that you were to push your code before you saw the solution which tells me and tells you how well you're doing okay but in this case we're here to figure out how to submit so let's actually talk about that so up here in the URL, this URL is what you're going to give me in Canvas. Okay, so I'm going to copy it. So you can either control C it or you can copy it, whichever way you're used to. And then over here in Canvas, notice that this is an assignment. So we'll go ahead and hit start assignment. And then you can submit the URL here. You can make a comment, anything you want me to know, it's fine. And then you hit submit. Okay. By the way, it's nice that Canvas gives you that little congratulations. All right, so that's how you, so read along the file, code along. Again, if you have two uh, screens, this works much better. I know for me it does. Code from uh, watch nine, code all the way through 14. When you're at the end, push that code, go to GitHub, go to, if you don't remember, I'm doing a summary here. Once you go, and you could actually even do that just from your private, if you go to commits, I will see all the commits and really probably the ones I will, because I will, and by the way, this is good to know, I grade the next morning. Uh, I grade every morning. So if you've submitted this the night before it's due, as long as it's there when I get up in the morning, I don't consider it late. After that, it is discounted 25%. But so this URL is the one that you submit for your code along. Now, next week's submission, we'll do a code along and we will do a learn together, which will be a different way of submitting. Okay. I hope this helped you understand how to do this work. I'll see you.